Building an AI agent or business application, sometimes the data you need comes in as an image, maybe a photo someone uploaded from their phone, but the first step is extracting the text from that image. In this video, I'll show you the best way I've found to do that using AI, the Google Gemini 2.0 model and API. And the best part is Google's currently offering it for free. And I'll show you how to take advantage of it. Let's go. I'm gonna use Windsurf to help me connect to the Google Gemini 2 API and do the OCR. But other AI coding assistants would work fine as well, such as Cursor or even GitHub Copilot. And I'm just starting out with a blank slate, just an empty folder with an input folder. And then I put these four images I got from Hugging Face, just sample invoices that we're gonna to use to OCR and test the OCR. And since the AI coding models that Windsurf and others use don't always have information that's latest, the best way to build this is to get some sample code from the source. In this case, we're gonna to go to Google AI Studio and I'll put a link to this in the description. What you want to do in here is say create a prompt and then choose the model. And so they have Gemini 2 Flash, but that does cost some money now. It's pretty cheap, but it does cost a little bit of money. But down below they have these previews. So if you look at these, you can find Gemini 2.0 Flash Experimental, and that's still free to use. It does have a bit of a lower rate limit, but I think it's okay for our needs. So let's choose that one. So now I can just drag one of those invoice images into the prompt here. And I can say extract the data from this image and return plain text. If we run that, it's going to give us back exactly what we wanted, just the plain text output. I find the OCR and the Gemini models is the best out of all of them. I think that's because Google has a long history with Google Vision and such. They're really good at this kind of thing. So now what you want to do is say get code up here above the model. Now it's going to give you all the code that we just ran. Since it's already running and working successfully, we can just take this code, give it to Windsurf as a reference, so it's gonna know exactly how to build it for us in our use case. So I'm gonna copy that. In Windsurf, we can just give it the prompt, create a new Python script that extracts the text from all images contained in the input folder. So those are all the ones I got from Hugging Face. There's four images you see there. And saves the text file to the output folder. And then use Google Gemini, and then this is the sample code. And then we'll paste in the sample code we took from Gemini. As part of that code, it does have the history and such, but that's fine. Okay, now it's making the directories and creating the Python file. It also created a requirements.txt file, and this is what you can run just to, as you see here, just to import all the dependencies we need to get this working. So we'll just run that. Looks like I have mostly everything installed already. But also going to need a Gemini API key, and that's free to get. So if you go back to AI Studio, get API key, and then create API key. You get that free of charge. You don't have to put in your credit card information to get the free API key. And then if you want to export the API key from here, you can just go insert in terminal. And then just paste it in here. And we should be good to go. All right, it looks like it's actually processing them. Yeah, it looks great. And I went through all of them and they all work perfectly. There is no mistakes in any of them, which is probably to be expected with machine print like this. But I also did some handwritten tests after that. They also worked really well. If we look at the code itself, it does show you in here how to upload to Gemini. So in this case, we have to actually upload an image file. So it shows you exactly how to do that. And also in the setup Gemini model method it created here, the model name is Gemini 2.0 Flash Experimental. And so I got that right from that sample code we pasted in. So that's really critical to making all this work, the first shot like that. It's just pasting in that sample code with the completed prompt with the image in there. So it knows exactly what to do. And when you even expanded on my prompt a bit, it added some more details saying include all numbers, dates, and other details exactly as they appear. So this is great. This is ready to be put into an agent. We could put this into a crew AI agent, for example, very easily. I'm gonna be do doing some more videos on that coming up where I show more of the agents and how they work together. But in this one, I just wanted to show the best way to get OCR off an image. And I think that's with Gemini 2 using this method. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you in the next one.